Hey all brothers and sisters, my name is Captain Meatshield and welcome to Resident Evil 8 Village. Or just Village Resident Evil. However they want to put it on the screen. I don't know. <laughs> I have been eagerly awaiting this along with everybody else on the internet. I'm excited to sit down and play this. This is going to be a lot of fun. I'm just going to dive straight in. We'll go standard difficulty. Just let me experience the fun. <laughs> Long ago, a young girl went with her mother to pick berries for her father, who was hard at work. But the forest greeted them with a dark, cold silence, the bushes empty. Yet determined to find the berries, the rascal broke free from mother's grasp and vanished into the trees. Mother's worried cries faded fast as the girl ran on, over vine and under branch, and into the forest deep. Feeling strange eyes upon her, the girl recalled mother's scary bedtime tales, and her throat became bone dry. Then the Pat Lord appeared. He greeted her warmly and bit his own wing. Come, child, quench your thirst, he said. So she drank the thick, dark blood and smiled with joy. Passing through the graveyard, menacing storm clouds loomed, and the air turned bitingly cold. The girl was shivering in her thin clothes. Then a dark weaver appeared, and with a click of his fingers, crafted mist into a beautiful dress. Come, child, warm yourself, he coaxed. So she clothed herself and smiled with joy. Across waters deep and ominous she went, hoping a boat she found would carry her home. But hunger's grip tightened and her heart grew heavy. Then the fish king appeared and offered one of his many fins. Come, child, eat your fill. So the girl ate and smiled with joy once more. Continuing on, she soon entered the forest's dark heart. Then an iron steed appeared, bearing a beautiful golden gear. The creature said nothing as the girl approached and snatched what she thought was another gift. The horse grew angry and summoned the other monsters. Terror filled the girl's heart as the wild wind rose around the beast. Suddenly, a witch appeared, dark yet regal. Ooh. <laughs> Gifts we gave, but more you took, she snarled. So more in turn is due. In a blink, the girl was trapped inside a mirror. There. She's asleep. What is with the creepy story? She's <laughs> only six months old. You, know, you gotta stop me young. Woman at the store said it was traditional. <laughs> a local tale. Besides, Rose doesn't seem to mind. Because she doesn't understand it, <laughs> thank God. We moved here so that she wouldn't have to deal with any of that, remember? There's nothing wrong with my memory. Ooh. You're just being paranoid. It's not... Never mind. I'm sorry. But I'm not paranoid. I'm just cautious. Then, go cautiously take your daughter to bed. Oh, if I must. I'll finish dinner. All right. It's okay, Rose. Your mother doesn't want to remember it. I can't blame her. Mm, I mean, why you would say you? Something? No. Nothing. <laughs> I'll put her down. All right, where are we going? Uh, I don't know. It's a cozy looking place, though. I don't like it. Where do we need to put you? Oh, <laughs> could walk through that door instead. Never mind. Up we go. Shh. Go to sleep. There, there. Don't you start like crying in my ear holes. That book's too scary for you. Yeah, who knows? Maybe she'll grow up one day, big and strong, and be really into horror games. 
Uh, no, that's uh, not where we want to put the baby. Almost there, honey. Is this it? This looks like it. Right, there you there we go. I was gonna put you in the big bloody bed. No, we we'll put you in this one. In the little box. Don't you worry. I'll be right downstairs. Daddy won't let those weird fairy tale monsters get you. Yeah. Later on the Goblin King is gonna come along. I need to sort out my mouse sensitivity, because that is really slow. That still feels really sluggish. Like, I'm having to put in some real effort to try and turn around. Like, it's fucking flying on the menus, but... Hmm. Right, that's better. Cool. Oh. I feel quick and nimble. So what's in this one? Uh, more books. Oh. <coughs> oh. <laughs> gonna do a deep clean before Rose starts walking around. Hmm. Get that Hoover in here. No, this is a nice place. Very nice property. Yeah, a bit more of a poke around. Ooh. Music box? Yeah. Gotta have a nice creepy music box if you're playing a horror game. It's the rules. I don't make them up. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Handsome chuckle. <laughs> this was all of their life between, or well, from, the end of seven. I wish it could stay like this forever. Ah, oh, but we know it won't. We know it's all going to change very soon. Rose's favorite toy. It's not a bad looking stereo. Quite like that. Heard noises. Was curious to what they were. Name Rosemary Winters. Date of birth, 2nd of the 8th, 2020. You were born in a very unfortunate year. <laughs> Screenings, hearing, vision, touch, reflex test, all results show no issues. Patient is in good health. Other notes, results for additional fungal pathogen tests, it, pathogen tests will be provided by the BSAA. Rose is fine. Yes. That's a chunky looking laptop as well. February 6th, 2021. Me and I had another fight. I accidentally mentioned what happened three years ago and she blew up at me. We finally settled down in our new life in Europe and can bring up bring Rose up properly. But I still feel like a part of me is trapped in that hellhole back in Louisiana. I know Mia doesn't like to talk about it, but can we really just forget everything and pretend it didn't happen? Shouldn't we face what happened there so we can live our lives with Rose without it hanging over our heads? We owe her that much at least. I know Mia knows that too, knows this too. She wouldn't have exploded like that at the hospital if she didn't care. Well, that's true. But it was a hell of a traumatic experience for the both of you, and I imagine it's really difficult to talk about. It's not going to be easy. Right. Yep. Ow. Who left these all over the floor? Oh, now that looks good. Mmm, tasty, tasty bread. <laughs> Is she okay? Sleeping like a... How much food like did you this. make? It's only the two... Are we expecting mm, guests? Smells good. What's that? Oh, hands off, mister. <coughs> it's chorba de legum. It's a local recipe. Wow, you've gone full native, haven't you? Mm. Local wine, too. Ooh. But if you're going to keep sulking all evening, maybe you shouldn't have any. <laughs> you really have to stop worrying. It's just finding you in Louisiana, the pregnancy, Chris moving us here, military training, it all happened so fast, you know? Well, at least we're all together. You, me, Rose. Now, everything's going to be... Seriously? Think we can just forget about what happened in Louisiana? It happened so long ago. I just, I don't understand why you are so. <sighs> oh. Mia, get down. Ooh. Mia. Fuck Jesus. Uh, uh, 
How long have we been living here and people are already shooting the place up? Jeez, there goes the wine. Fuck. Oh, she ain't getting back up. Hi, Chris. What the hell? Sorry, Ethan. No! What? Why? All right, who's knocking me out? Is it going to be you? I don't know. Go on, move! Ooh. Back off, you. All clear. Rose? What the hell are you doing with my daughter? Package secure, sir. Take him away. I said get your hands off her! Ethan, no. Yeah. Right, you were the one who was going to knock me out. All right, cool. I knew someone was going to do it. Get him what the hell happened? Now, I, this is the one. One of the things that's really intriguing me about this one is like, why did Chris do this? What was behind all of it? Hello. Hey, Doc. Hey, Doc. Oh. I got your daughter's results back, and I'd like you to come in to talk about that. How about next Thursday, 4 o'clock? No problem. We'll be there. That was the Doc. She'll see us next week. Hey, now. Think positively, all right? We talked, we talked about, about this. this. I, know. I know. We hardly talk about anything else. I, I keep telling you, it's not Rose that I'm worried about. Well, then what are you worried about? Look, she's gonna be fine. I just know it. What else matters? We matter, Ethan! You matter! You just Mia, Mia, what are you talking about? Is there something you're not telling me? Come on, talk to me. Everybody calling. Jeez. I have to take this. Maybe that's what she's upset about. I don't know. Oh, hello. <laughs> uh. Wakey, wakey. No fucking hell. Alright. About damn time. What's your status? Is the package safe? What are you talking about? Where's Chris Redfield? And Rose? Who is this? This is a secure channel. You are not off our Oh, that went well. What happened to the truck? What the hell happened here? Yeah. Oish. Useless. Mission objectives. Eliminate target, recover body, secure Rosemary Winters and Ethan Winters. Move the two Winterses to Site C for further investigation. At least two transport officers to accompany them. So Mia was completely expendable. Uh, why do they want... Me? Why do they want Methan? Mm. Oh, there are lots of questions going on right now. Well, at least the turn signal's working. But somebody got out of this alive. Who was it? Or what was it? Jesus, it's dark. <sighs> I can barely see anything. No, no, thank you. No, moving on. Don't want any of that. No, 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 no. Oh, 
Uh, crouch. Oh, it? Ooh, my way is it? Ow. Great. Ooh. <laughs> oh, we're off to a good start, aren't we? Oh, no. I think things are getting to a place where I'm not going to like them. That's a lot of dead birds. What the fuck? Get these things off of me. Jesus Christ, that one's... <laughs> Sounds like my alarm going off first thing in the morning. Oh, God. I really can't see anything. Ooh! <laughs> Is that one of our little werewolf buddies? I know they're meant to be a thing. I do I am very intrigued by this one taking more of a kind of you know folklore sort of mythological kind of thing to it. Oh wow, the sound just completely dipped out there. Okay. That's uh unnerving. Anything in here? No. Why'd you put so much effort into clo into opening it? <laughs> oh. I was going to say that looks like a green herb, but it looks like a very sad green herb. Uh, okay. Somebody's definitely been living here. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. Mm. Nothing in that. Okay, cool. <laughs> Can I stop treading on broken shit? Oh, great. I've got to go down. I don't want to do this. <laughs> okay. Um. The Emperor protects. I don't know. Oh no. That's covered in blood smears. Oh, hello. Alright, where am I going now? Oh, Jesus Christ, fuck. Oh, God. Oh, no. Uh. I don't know what the fuck happened up there. Garlic, I thought it was eyeballs. Oh, oh God. Alright, how am I getting out of this? Oh. Okay. This is a surefire way of getting an infection. And I suppose that's what this series is all about, really, isn't it? What did all this? Something not quite human, Ethan. We'll find out soon enough. Right. Oh, over we go. I mean, I have a feeling we're just following its tracks. I mean, you know, at least the sun's up. You know, daylight makes for, you know, feelings of comfort. 
I guess. Oh. Wow. I've got to say, though, like, while all of this does look impressive, I think my graphics card is starting, finally starting to show its age. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I think this is a sign that I need an upgrade. But, oh, I can still enjoy the adventure. Adventure. Oh, God. Ooh, down we go. Okay, hi, dead horse. Oh. I thought that was, like, the horse's leg for a moment. I'm like, oh, no, wait, that is a lot longer than it would have been. Hmm. Alright. Maybe, maybe they're out? Yeah, I think they probably are out, considering the state of the place. And I certainly hope that they would be. Oh. The Emperor protects. An easy to pick lock. But I have nothing to pick it with. Ooh. Yeah, we're back to the briefcase, so the, um... I forget the right term for it, but... Okay. Somebody's dragging away their baggage. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Hello? Oh. Right, I need some kind of crank to pull up the bucket. The bird cage up there. Hmm. Oh, this is wonderfully creepy for how quiet it is. Alright, calm down, birds. Oh, this is giving me vibes of like, RE4 meets Outlast 2. Very reminiscent of like the, the village from Outlast, or from Outlast 2 anyway. I think I'm already getting myself turned around, and I don't like it. The hell is that noise? I'm going to be saying that an awful lot throughout this entire playthrough. I know it. Just, what the fuck was that? What the hell is that noise? What happened? What happened? Exactly. Thank you for contributing there, Ethan. Okay. Graveyard, cemetery, site, and workshop. Well, the graveyard and the cemetery, uh, definitely, or ceremony site, not cemetery site. They don't seem too accessible at the moment. Mm -hmm. Okay. Locked due to missing homeowner. I need a way to get through that. I haven't got a map or anything at the moment, so I have no idea where I'm going. Right, let your eyes adjust. Alright, some force could break it. Aha! Mm. Fucking hell. A knife! Hooray! I am finally armed. Heh! <coughs> Ooh, first aid meds. Nice. Let's see what else we've got lying around. Did they just run out of the house? Seems like it. Hmm. 
no, 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 thank you. I don't want to open this. Oh, Jesus Christ! Friendly. Who are you? Who sent you? Nobody. There was an accident down on the road and... What's going on? Oh, no. They're coming. Who is? What the hell was that? Do you have a gun? What? Please tell me you have a gun. No, why would I? Mm, fuck. Oh, thank you. Take it! Take it! Alright. Oh, jeez. Are you listening? Hey! Oh, fuck. He's gone. My only friend. What the? Oh, God. Alright. What next? Oh, God. Oh. Dead body? Wait, there's more. Yep, there's loads of them. Good God. All under this one dude's house. Jesus Christ. You can say that again. What the hell is wrong with this place? <laughs> oh, fucking hell. That one in the back's moving. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ! Ow, fuck you! Oh. Ow, my fingers! I need those for pointing at stuff. Oh. I mean, I know we've been down this road before. Oh. Right, can I shoot it yet? No. Right, come on. Fucking stay down. What the hell? Oh, boy. Ah. I, don't th I think I'm pretty sure I don't still have my fingers, though. I think the, the days of regrowing body parts are, are long behind us. Uh, chem fluid. Uh -huh. right, we start finding ammo around here now. Ooh, herbs. Nice. So, now... Right, yeah, can you... Right, there we go. Um, Gunpowder and Russ's scrap. Cool. Okay. Craft me one of those. Nice. Is there a way I can check my map? I've got to find out now. That was it. Map was M. Oh, okay. Cool. Good to know. I'll look back around here. Maybe I don't want to. <laughs> I think I've got to go back through that way anyway. That doesn't open. Looks like it probably should. And that's something that I'll be able to open later. Um, yeah. I need bolt cutters for that. Oh, speaking of, fantastic. Right, 
Let's get ourselves out. Snip de snip. Yeah. Open says me. Oh no. I'm gonna need a lot more ammo for this. Is that a radio or something? Kind of sounds like it. Hmm, a solitary boot. Locked from the other side. Okay, so I've got to go through the building with the nasty monster in it. Good to know. Alright. Make every shot count. Why'd it stop? I don't like the fact that it stopped. Oh. Ooh, fuck. Somebody got munched. Barricade doors with shelves. Ooh, helpful. Right. Move that over there. Ooh, she well, that went well. <laughs> Fucking hell. You prick. Fucking fluid. <laughs> Good evening, sir. Where did you come from? You're just dropping in to say hi. Okay. Alright. Oh, fuck. Where do I go? What do I do? Oh, bloody hell. Right. They're inside the building. Dickhead here can fucking get it. Oh, pop. Yeah, that'll make you back off, won't it? Is it over? Oh, it's far from over. Oh, radio again. Hello. Oh, hello. If there are any survivors out there, come to my to Louisa's house near the fields. Survivors? Hmm. All right. Where do I... how do I get there? Oh, for fuck's sake. That's how we get around. Lockpick's over there. Did I fail to pick that up? Am I an idiot? Of course I am. Why am I even asking the question? Okay. Uh, yeah, that's locked from that side. So how do I get to it? Do I have to move this back and go back out that way? Mm. I bet I do, because I'm not getting out through the roof. Okay. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I meant to hold F. Ugh. That hand is looking gnarled. Hey! Door's open. Let's go. Uh, oh. We smashed this down. Oh, I see you over there. I see you up there. Let me unlock that. You unlocked it! Yes, you did. Jesus. What am I meant to do against them all? Because, like, I've got 11 rounds and a knife. That's not much to be working with.
Oh, that other one was backing off. Alright, alright, alright. Oh, you're backing off as well. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, fuck. Okay, they're not backing off. Right, run. I'm just gonna run. I'm gonna go this way and hope for the best. Oh, fuck. Damn it. Jesus, they're everywhere. Survive the attack. That's, that's gonna be a bit difficult. Uh, shotgun ammo. Brilliant. Can I have a shotgun, please? Ooh, fuck. Where are they? Where are they? What are they doing? I didn't think cover the door. Uh, right. Ooh. Tell you what, come on in. That works. Gunpowder. Nice. Fuck you, hell. Right. I need to find more explosive barrels. There's one. Ow. Come over here, you dicks. There's no end to them. I don't know, but they're giving me money. Uh, that's locked. Oh, fuck. Ow. Uh, what's with the flaming arrows? Oh, boy. Uh, ow! Fuck. Uh, I've got nowhere to go. Ow! Fucking hell! Oh! You son of a bitch! I don't have anywhere I can go. And I've got one bullet left. I should probably just use it on myself. Right. Stay the fuck out there. Right. Can I craft anything? Uh, I can craft a herb. Uh, a first aid med. First aid herb. Ooh, shotgun. Okay. Yes. What the fuck was that? That's full of flour. Is it now? Right, down here. Rusted scrap. Oh, Jesus Christ. I missed with the fucking shotgun. Jesus, what the fuck is going on? Crystal skull? Alright. Fuck off, you prick! Well, seriously, what the fuck is the big boy, big boy noise? Oh, holy shit, it's a fucking massive one. More crystal skulls. Oh, fuck off. I've already lost enough of my hand, thank you. How am I meant to survive this? Out, oh, fucking hell. I don't know where I go, I don't know what I do. Very concerned. Fuck. 
Jesus. Can we not with this? Whoa. Ooh. Ow. Whoa. They've got fucking cavalry as well. This is just not on. Oh, what a friendly bunch you are. <laughs> Hi. <sighs> Sup, big yeti. I don't know if I survived the attack or not. Whoa. Could I offer you a breath, mint? Okay. That went well. Oh, I'm never going to be an adventurer now. I'm never going to play guitar again either. I give this three out of five. Oops. The fuck? Alright. Well, I think I'm going to wrap this first episode up here. This is off to a wild start. My word. This is insane, and I love it so far. God damn. I'm going to need to poke around for some stuff. I've got to remember that control is my quick heal, not my map. Unlike Resident Evil 2 and 3 remakes, Control gives you the map. I'm likely to waste my healing items playing this one, and it's going to suck. But, yeah, we're, we're, this is off to a really interesting start already, so I am looking forward to playing more. But for now, I will wrap this episode up here, so I'll just say thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, check out the playlists on the channel for more Let's Plays on Metal Covers, and give this video a like or a comment just to leave your thoughts. And if you wish to join the ever-growing ranks of the Order of the Shield, do subscribe to the channel, and maybe even consider checking out my Patreon and becoming an officer within the ranks. But thank you again for watching this video, and I'll catch you all very, very soon. This is Captain Meat Shield, signing off. Very, very medical profession, uh, you know, medical opinion, and say that everybody's dead, Dave. <laughs>